Humankind in the 21st century is confronted with various global issues that cannot be solved by one country or region, including global warming, preservation of biological resources, infectious disease outbreaks, earthquakes, and tsunami. These issues have a particularly large effect on developing countries that have a weak economic base, requiring solutions coordinated with developed countries. The Science and Technology Research Partnership for Sustainable Development, known as SATREPS, promotes international joint research conducted by Japan and developing countries. New technologies are being developed in order to find solutions to global issues and build human capacities that benefit both Japan and developing countries. JST, that promotes science and technology, is coordinating work with JICA that is in charge of official development assistance known as ODA. The Gabonese Republic is located in Central Africa. A project entitled Conservation of Biodiversity in Tropical Forests Through Sustainable Coexistence Between Humans and Wild Animals is proceeding in Gabon. Kyoto University is promoting this project in collaboration with the Research Institute of Tropical Ecology in Gabon. 80% of the land in Gabon is occupied by tropical forests. There is a lot of wild nature and a diverse range of living things. In particular, Gabon is known for its great apes like gorillas and chimpanzees. Thirteen national parks have been established to preserve this rich ecosystem and this country is making a change in policy from the logging and petrochemical development of the past to environmentally sound tourism, or so-called eco-tourism. <laughs> Professor Juichi Yamagiwa, a leading expert in ape research, heads a group that's been conducting ecological research on gorillas and chimpanzees around Africa for more than 30 years. The objective of this project is to create a rich natural environment where humans and wild animals coexist. <laughs> Professor Yamagiwa told us about the objective of this project. The objective of research in Gabon is to obtain a quantitative grasp of biodiversity in Mukalabadudu National Park, compile this data in a database, and publish guidebooks and pamphlets that anyone can read. Research is being conducted in Mukalaba Dudu National Park. The project started with attempting to obtain as accurate a picture as possible of the ecosystem. The project is attempting to clarify the regions where various animals live with a focus on gorillas, the seasonal changes in the volume of the plants the animals eat, and the relationships between plants and animals. In the laboratory, researchers analyze various samples from the field to enhance their analysis capabilities. A laboratory similar to one in Japan is established in Gabon to compile field survey data in a comprehensive manner. And the researchers seek ways to preserve the environment from a scientific viewpoint. We have a plan to set up a field station for environmental education that has museum-like functions where simple experiments can be conducted. It will have resident staff. Attitude surveys concerning the forest are conducted among people living near the national park. This data is fed back to environmental education and activities to preserve the ecosystem. It's also important to establish the monitoring methods for veterinarians to enable the health of wild animals to be maintained for actual eco-tours. Under this project, having the local people manage the health of the wild animals is being performed to create a new type of eco-tourism. 
Up until now, in African countries with tropical rainforests, tourism policy was the first priority to increase tourists visiting the country. In other words, the focus was on creating infrastructure. Since this was not based on an understanding of the ecosystem, when many tourists came, the fragile balance would be destroyed and the animals would leave the area or die. Therefore, we wanted to create a system where researchers were in charge and could express opinions from a scientific viewpoint. I think it's important to create a system which can be managed by the local staff with confidence. This is what we are trying to do. As a part of this project, we are inviting researchers from Gabon to zoos in Japan. They learn how to diagnose the health of gorillas there. The objective is to have them learn management methods nurtured over the years in Japan so they can protect individual wild animals. Comment le Gabon va faire pour se développer? Mais il faut former les gens qui vont pouvoir faire cet écotourisme-là, mais basé sur les connaissances scientifiques qu'on a. C'est pourquoi notre projet est important. Les Japonais et les Gabonais travaillent ensemble parce que veulent mettre leurs connaissances en œuvre hein, pour pouvoir développer, continuer à développer ce projet. Mais nous, on n'a pas l'expérience. C'est cette expérience-là, le fait de travailler avec les chercheurs, hein, avec les chercheurs japonais, leur expérience va nous profiter. C'est pas non, c'est un travail ensemble, c'est une collaboration. Continuing research is important. Unless local researchers are trained to work on the preservation of the environment effectively, the wildlife population in the forest will rapidly decrease. For this reason, I want to have people from Gabon come to Japan, learn the methods that we have created at zoos, and study various analysis techniques at universities. I hope this will lead to them actually managing the national parks by themselves in Gabon.